Temperature is one of the most important considerations for reptile maintenance. Many biological processes such as digestion, reproduction, respiration and immune response are directly affected by temperature. In the world, extramarine animals, like reptiles, are able to thermoregulate. In captivity, however, the two options for reptiles to thermoregulate in as in nature are diminished, or even non-existent in some instances. In the wild, they seek shade in burrows under their trees in their environment. With this in mind, we try to measure temperature. But there are many different thermometers and different ways you can use them. But which is best, or is a combination needed, to accurately and effectively control temperature and fear? That's what I seek to answer in this video. First, you must understand the difference between heat and temperature. Heat can also be referred to as thermal radiation, so that's what we refer to heat as in this video. Thermal radiation is the emission of electromagnetic wavelengths to a matter that is greater than absolute zero. With this we can say, thermal radiation is the combination of any wavelengths found and given by the sun, such as UVA, UVB, visible light and infrared. Temperature is a physical quality that expresses hot and cold. It is the manifestation of all thermal energy, present in all matter, which is the source of currents of heat. It is the flow of energy when the body is in contact with that is colder or hotter. But how do these thermometers work and which one is best? There are three different thermometers you can use for thermal radiation and temperature for your reptile. Dialogue thermometers, infrared thermometer guns and digital thermometers. Now you might disagree and say that there's four thermometers you can use with reptiles and ask what about liquid crystal thermometers? Like many reptile equipment, the idea of using liquid crystal thermometers came from fish keeping. Liquid crystal thermometers were used in the past but with new reptile based thermometers, they have been, there's been a significant decrease in the use of them. So we will leave liquid crystal thermometers for fish keepers to measure temperature of water. Dialog thermometers. Dialog thermometers are the least used thermometer when measuring temperature of reptiles. The reason being, along with hygrometers, is that they are known to be inaccurate with temperature readings. This is however completely incorrect as it's down to how you use a dialog thermometer. Dialogue thermometers can be properly used to measure heat or thermal radiation at the possible, but can be used to measure ambient temperature. Dialogue thermometers use a metal pointer on a circular scale to indicate temperature measurements. They have two main components, the needle and a temperature sensor. The temperature sensor will move the needle to the temperature it's reading. We will have a more of a detailed look at ambient temperature later in the video, but for now, leave the thought of dialogue thermometers being used to measure the ambient temperature in your head. Infrared thermometer guns Infrared thermometer guns are the quickest and easiest way to measure temperature in the reptile's enclosure. Infrared thermometer guns can be easily used outside of a room with a glass door open to take multiple readings fairly quickly. Infrared thermometer guns work by measuring the thermal radiation that is radiated off an object. Using lens and mirrors, they focus the emission of energy from any given object that has a mass onto a detector. The detector converts this light into an electrical signal that can be measured and displayed instantly as a digital reading on the infrared thermometer gun. As you might recognise from this, the infrared thermometer guns only measure surface temperature. This surface temperature will vary depending on where your reptile is sitting at the bottom spot and what material your reptile's bottom spot is made out of. Such as rock would store more thermal radiation than let's say wood, which is a piece of cork bark. Again, we'll have more of a detailed look at surface temperature later in the video, but for now, leave the top of infrared thermometer guns being used to measure surface temperature in your head. Digital thermometers. Digital thermometers are the favourite and most used thermometer within the reptile keeping community. This is because digital thermometers can easily be set up and move around your reptile's enclosure if needed, while also being the most accurate thermometer you can use to measure temperature. Digital thermometer readings can vary depending on the cover of the digital thermometer probe. Digital thermometers with silver plastic probe coverings will only absorb heat but not a lot of thermal radiation while digital thermometers with black plastic coverings will absorb more thermal radiation. This is the same concept as if you wore a black t-shirt compared to if you wore a white t-shirt. Black absorbs more thermal radiation than it reflects back out through conduction, which is known as a black body radiator, whereas white or any other colour would not be able to absorb as much thermal radiation and most of the thermal radiation absorbed will reflect it back out within, into the environment. With this we can say digital thermometers measure thermal radiation. Now that we know all of the unique jobs each individual type of thermometer we use 
rectal has, such as the dialogue thermometers measure ambient temperature, infrared thermometer guns measure surface temperature, and digital thermometers measure termination. How important are all of these jobs to accurately and effectively measuring heat and temperature in the room? To find out how important ambient temperature, surface temperature, and termination actually are, we must observe what type of temperature our reptiles are actually seeking to bask at. With this in mind, I have found all three of the different temperature methods you could say were nearly used equally by my bird dragon venom, with termination obviously being the most vast. At. So, to accurately and effectively measure temperature in the room, it's paramount that we measure termination as much as it is ambient temperature and surface temperature. And that's a bit it for this video. I hope you learned something as that was no easy job. Although it was worth it though, as measuring your episode's temperatures accurately and effectively is something that we cannot think lightly of or put it aside for later. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give it a like, subscribe and turn on post notifications so you're going to create another post. And see you in the next video. Bye guys.